hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you how i made this crunchy and delicious chin chin please if you want to know how i made this chin chin please keep watching chin chin is a very quick snack that you just put together and it tastes so good and so delicious nothing too serious just with few ingredients you'll be making your crunchy and delicious changing so keep watching while i take you through the ingredient i have my flour i'll be using three cups of all-purpose flour all i'm doing is to sieve the flour so it's very important to sieve your flour because you see some incense in the flour things you might you don't want to eat like as you can see now can you see that okay so that's the reason why you really need to sieve your floor before using most especially now that we are in in summer that you know you see incense all over the place so this is my measurement the cup i'm using to measure so i measure three cups of that okay and yeah can you guys see this is one cup okay so i'm using three cups of this so keep watching guys here we're done you know saving our three cups of all papers flour the next thing we'll go ahead and add is our baking powder so i'm using one tablespoon of baking powder this is what it looks like this is the same measurement with your regular eating spoon okay so i'll be adding one spoon of one tablespoon of baking powder we're done adding our baking powder we'll go ahead and add the same spoon i showed you guys i'll be adding five tablespoon of sugar you can add more or you can adjust your sugar according to your taste okay so i'll be adding five spoons of sugar the next thing we'll be adding to this floor is nutmeg if you have cinnamon if you like cinnamon you can add cinnamon as well if you have a vanilla extract go ahead and use it so i'll be adding one teaspoon one teaspoon of nutmeg you can use the fresh nutmeg grate it yourself but here i have the powdered one so i'll be adding one teaspoon of nutmeg powder so keep watching guys Feel free to adjust your seasoning and also check my description box for the list of the ingredients I use and their measurements. So we'll be adding 1 over 4 teaspoon of salt, okay? If you don't have this measurement, just use a pinch of salt and add. You don't need too much salt. Do now is go ahead and mix all the dry ingredients to combine the tablespoon the measurement i showed you guys so this is one tablespoon okay is the same with our regular eating spoon so i will be adding butter and i will be using my regular spoon so is both spoon are actually the same the measurement spoon and our regular spoon is the same so i will use my eating spoon and this is a brand of butter i'll be using use any butter you have any butter of your choice so in here i'll be adding three tablespoons of butter i'm adding the butter so go ahead and use a stand mixer or your hand mixer or 
probably you can use your hand to mix everything to combine but here i'll be using my hand mixer to mix everything to combine so keep watching guys So I will use my spatula to bring everything together. water in this process okay but I choose to use my milk so if you don't have milk or use any milk of your choice use water so I'll be adding the milk gradually I won't add everything at once so I have my measurement I have one cup of milk so this one cup of milk I'm not adding everything at once I will add gradually to check the consistency okay to see how the consistency looks okay so keep watching guys so I just added I'll go ahead I will use my you know hand mixer mix everything to combine the first make i added was not enough so i'll go ahead and add the whole one cup i measured out so i just added the remaining one i will miss you know to see the consistency of the dough So guys, at this point, I'm done mixing with my hand mixer, okay? I will go ahead. If you see that the dough is sticky, feel free to sprinkle some flour on it. So I just sprinkle some flour because I realized that it's a, little, it's a little bit sticky, okay? So you see, I just put some flour and I'm using my hand to work it, work everything together. When you're done working it together, you just allow this to rest for five minutes before you can start rolling it out. So add flour if you feel the consistency is not good enough or if you feel it's sticky, if you're seeing it as it's sticky. So you add flour just to bind everything up together. Okay. guys this is five minutes later we'll go ahead and start rolling out our chin chin
guys after rolling it out roll any size you want cut however you want so i used my pizza cutter to cut it guys using pizza cutter to cut your chin chin like is the best but that does not mean if you don't have pizza cutter you cannot cut your chin chin you can use your knife yes use your knife to cut your chin chin okay so cut any size of your choice any desired size of your choice okay so guys this is what i will do until i'm done rolling out and cutting the chin chin so keep watching guys Over here I have my oil already preheated so I just added one chin chin to it to check and I check it was ready so I started adding my chin chin so guys chin chin you have to put eye on it you don't just add it to the oil and allow it you just keep you know from you know keep turning it around in towers you know because when you leave it it's not going to cook evenly okay but when you keep turning it around you see the changing cook evenly and the color will come out looking good okay so i will just go ahead and you know keep turning keep just keep turning it until it is golden brown some people like it light brown some like it very brown but for me i don't like it super brown i just love light brown okay so however you want it this is optional it's just personal reference okay so i will keep frying it until the chin chin is golden brown and i will take it out of the pan okay so keep watching guys You can see some part of the chin chim is well brown some is not well brown so i keep moving it until they are all the same color until they all cook evenly at this point our chin chim is ready i'll go ahead and take it out of the hot oil place it on my paper towel and the strainer so it takes the excess oil out this is what I'm going to do until I'm done frying my chin chin. Keep watching guys. Here guys, our chin chin is ready and this was so good. It tastes so delicious and it's crunchy. Guys, you need to come and taste. I love when it's hot, okay? so as you can see i'm just picking it and eating it it's so good guys so i hope you enjoy watching this video and i hope you go ahead and make some chin chin for yourself and your family okay guys there is nothing like homemade homemade is the best trust me you're in control of everything that goes in right so if you enjoy this video please give this video a very big thumbs up like share this video and if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe okay turn on your bell on so that you always be notified anytime i upload a new video thank you so much for sticking with me i will see you guys in my next video have a go bye